Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Lynn Farrell Arena in Hastings College as we get ready for Friday night action from the Heartland Hoops Classic. Let's meet the introduction of the players and coaches. Tonight's starting lineup so we begin with the Spartans of Bishop Walsh. A 6 1 freshman, number one, Josiah Kennedy. A 6 foot junior, number four, Matthew Silver. A 6 foot senior, number five, Mike Williams III. Six eight junior number ten Emmanuel Ocantondo and the five eleven senior number twenty three Mikhail Todd. Assistant coaches for the Spartans are Mike Edwards and Anthony Register, associate head coach Lafayette Dublin, and the head coach for Bishop Walsh is Dan Priest. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Hastings College and Lynn Farrell Arena as we get ready for the Friday night edition of the Heartland Hoops Classic. This event keeps growing a little bit more and more each year under the direction of Tino Martinez, and we are excited to bring you two games on Friday night for the first time. My name is Eric Olga, joined alongside Mike Sauter. Mike, it is always a big deal if we get you on a microphone, <laughs> so this must be fun. Bishop Walsh in the black and it's, Chicago Prep in the baby not, blue. It's not an every time 
thing, just a sum of the time thing. And when the sum of the time thing comes, it must be a big deal if I'm here, right? So Exactly. Bishop Walsh, I, like we said, in the black mm -hmm. and Chicago prep. A last-minute fill-in, Huntington prep out of Tennessee, was supposed to be here. West Virginia. Uh, out of West Virginia, excuse me. Uh, and had some, uh, had some health issues and uh, was unable to make the trip. So Chicago <laughs> prep. In, uh, in late, and yeah. Mike Williams the third, who is a name we might say once or twice, yeah, opens the scoring tough. for the Spartans. LSU commit Mike Williams the third, four-star player. He um, probably the best player on the court tonight, I would say, and uh, in this game at least. I, you almost kind of feel bad maybe for Chicago Prep a little bit, just last minute kind of change. That's a nice move though. That was a great finish there. Jared G finishing that G. one, 6'6 six, six, uh, forward. I mean, he's long. He's real long. We got a zone. Yeah, what is this? Three, two, no man, chub zone. Yep, little reach in there on Tristan Ford, 6'3 guard as well. He's you know, long too. You know, we mentioned uh, the, the last minute prep, so it's one thing to have a team uh, not make it last minute, but to find another team. Yeah. Now they've got to make travel arrangements on very short notice. But they drove vans. Did they really? Yeah, saw their van outside. So uh, good stuff to, uh, to again. get them here just to be able to play. So they're taking the place of Huntington Prep in tonight's game, and then uh, they will be playing again tomorrow night in Grand Island for the uh, the main event, if you will, as we get to uh, to a fun day of games tomorrow for the uh, schools in the state of Nebraska. It's uh, it's really fun to be a part of this event, and uh, they're going to be able to stick around and watch some of these national teams uh, later on in the night, which is something that uh, if you get to be here, always seems like it's a yeah, it's a little bit bigger event. The crowd seems pretty good. Um, I think there's maybe a few more people in Grand Island last year. Obviously, a shorter arena, smaller arena, but or gym. Giovanni Garcia with the missed shot there. And then oh, a man. finish down the lane for Manny Okitondo. Okitondo, Okitondo yeah. who was uh, a part of the Oak Hill Academy Okitondo, team yeah. uh, last year. So Transfer. when we saw them, uh, saw Oak Hill last year, Manny yeah. was on that team, now he's, playing with Bishop Walsh. He's familiar. He's been here before. Uh, Michael Tyne is also a guy that transferred to uh, from Montverde. So yep. um, he is, I like Michael Tyne. Just watching warm ups and. Um, gosh, Mike Williams, just the easy steal. Just, oh, he missed it. Just a different kind of athlete out there, isn't he? Good rebound Look on the Michael hustle play. Tyne, though. Like 5'10". Right. Not scared. Short, sh only guy listed. 5'10". Uh, Botello, 5'10". Yeah. Stretch him out, 5'10". Yeah. Two fouls against the freeze here in the first period. In the little bit of games I watched and a little bit of research before this, Mike L. Tyne was a guy that kind of popped a little bit, and then I actually called – a few coaches that may know a little more than I do, obviously, about Bishop Walsh. And he's a guy that's a, just a really tough on-ball defender. Tyne makes the first, and we'll get another. And the second as well. A little different lighting system uh, yeah. in use tonight. Trying Talk to, to Adam Mazur here, who is uh, one of the facilities directors for Hastings College. And he wants to make this a permanent thing, but he wants better lights in the middle. They're going to need a uh, little brighter. They're going to need to be a little brighter, but uh, this is kind of fun anyway. The battle with the bigs in close to the paint, the block shot there from Okitondo and the Spartans of Bishop Walsh. Tyne steps into a three. And Michael Jones, 6'7 forward. Can't get that's back and play defense. Just not a lot of energy right now, I don't think. Oh, that's a bad closeout. And the fadeaway, though, rattles out from Jones. Spartans at the other end. Tipped out of bounds. It will stay with Bishop Walsh. We've got another game coming up tonight. First time mm -hmm. we've had two Friday night games. Uh, uh, what has become a, a team that's become a staple of this event, Sunrise Christian Academy, Extremely out of uh, technically out of Bel Air, Kansas. I, I know some people Wichita, just say Wichita, yeah. but no, no, no. Yeah, it's Bel Air. Bel Air is, is, is much different than, than the rest of Wichita. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but Sunrise Christian Academy back here again. They will take on real Salt Lake from Salt, Salt Lake, Lake, for real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice mid-range jumper from uh, Manny Okatondo. We're just going to go with Manny because that's what he prefers. Sure. So Four points here in the early going for Manny. 
Garcia. He was looking to shoot. I feel about. watching him again in warm-ups and stuff. He, he's he's a he's probably their three-point shooter guy. Oh man. Out of bounds off of Tyne as he puts the pressure on Caleb Spencer. So again, we'll see Sunrise and Real Salt Lake at the conclusion of this one. Paying for this game, you're going to get the uh, two for one special here tonight and tomorrow. If you're looking to buy at least the last games, well, your fifteen dollars <laughs> will actually uh, will actually get you into all of the games tomorrow right. online here on Strive.tv slash HHC. That one out of bounds. Good hustle play by Caleb Spencer. Got the mm -hmm. ball off of uh, Tyne there. Yeah. I, it, it just organization for me is important. Like, what what are we doing, right? So, feels like a little a little dysfunction right now, um, which I guess to be expected, if you will. But yeah, it's handsy. Yep, little handsy up top. The uh, reach in foul on Matt Selman. He's a six foot junior. It's the first team foul against the Spartans as well. Shot clock, of course, enabled here for tonight, and we will see shot clock just enabled. Just a 30 second shot clock. Just a 30 clock second tonight. shot clock. Tomorrow tonight. will be 35. Okay. Two of the top teams in the state of Nebraska taking on some of the national teams as well Bellevue West and Omaha's West Side yeah. schools will be in action. Boy, Bell West is just. They are on a tear right now, are they? Yeah, not? I am uh, very intrigued. Call me very intrigued by Bell West playing this Bishop Walsh team. I think, you know, if you just look at the rosters and size, you probably like, oh, you know, Bell West is going to get killed. Well, that's not the case. Yeah. So. In and out from four. The second attempt, no good. Now Garcia saves it back in. The hustle play, good play and a good and one opportunity. Jared G will have a chance at a three point play. Jared G's a tough guy. Gee, you see it here. I mean, it's hustling. Again, and just watching warm ups again, he was kind of popped a little bit. Yep. I didn't get a chance to watch shoot around or practice or anything or obviously get any film on these guys. But was um, was watching as they were practicing while we were setting up the rest of our stuff there in Grand Island or earlier today. The the smoothness of the explosion mm -hmm. from G is, is He's the, super long. Is uh is really impressive. Super long too. That's a nice shot fake. That's Goodness a great shot gracious. fake when your defender goes flying by. And Mike Williams, good, good, good player. LSU, you say? Yes. That was. Uh, I feel like if your name. That's Mike what it Williams, looks you like. Just go Mike to LSU Williams anyway. Is, Mike Williams the third. Yeah. He. That's just that play. Is why what makes him different. Like not a lot of can guys can do that. Well, a lot of guys can, but. Around here, I guess. Right. Not nothing. Oh, he should have kicked that to him. He was wide open. Williams was wide open, just waiting on the wing after he hits that shot. That's just some basketball IQ stuff. You got to be able to see that and kick it. Um, but, yeah. Josiah Kennedy actually transferred to Bishop Walsh like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, uh, he's a freshman. He's uh, just getting into he's good. Uh, this, this kind of game here. Yeah. He's a, uh, he's a very good player and has offers from Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, Kansas State, um, and Mississippi State. So as a freshman, that's pretty good. He's got the body type for it, too. Definitely yeah. not done growing, you could say, and going to get thicker and bigger, too, at the same time. Yep. Some Is that good G's second foul? No. I believe in no. Just this first. I mean, he's got all their points. So he know. does. You don't, don't want, you don't, you, you don't don't want him coming can, off the floor much. I don't know how long he can stay on the bench for you. So Kennedy makes both. Pressure's been something here that for Chicago. Oh, man, look at that. How's that for the uh, steal and layup for Kennedy? He just took that from him. Hey. Oh, up top. 
the slam for Michael Jones. That's fun. That's look at that. That's why you pay admission or that's online to watch that one. That that's was great perfect. Play. Great pass. I'm trying to get that foul. That ain't gonna work. Oh, here's another one. Garcia Dish it. Or not. stops, misses once, but the tip in good for Ford. I mean, he scored, but he could have dumped that off to Ford, and so wouldn't have mattered. 14-9. Chicago Prep hanging in there. Here. Bishop Walsh on top here. It's a tough move. I mean, well, I say it's a tough move, but you got to have some defense there, too. I mean, it's tough till you make it look that easy. Well, as I well. mean, there was no one guarding. Like, you guard the ball. Find the ball. Tried to dump it down low. The tip out. Ford fires That's the good. three. Oh. Nope. No real rotation on that shot. He was open. Almost went in, though. He shoot. Oh. In that short corner for Savon Sutton. Oh, kick that to the corner. And the travel is the he call. He had tying wide open in the corner, just sitting there waiting. Just give him the ball. That's three. That's almost a guaranteed three. He's wide right. open. Just make the right basketball play, right? Vilius Salina into the ball game first Salinas. time. Salinas. 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 I think so. Pretty sure. Sladnina. Sorry. Sladnina. Sladnina. Yeah. Vilius Sladnina. Final minutes of our opening period here between Bishop Walsh and Chicago Prep. Here we go. That's going to be a dunk or not. Ah, close for Kennedy and a timeout taken. Now you get a two for one opportunity if you won it real quick, right? Right, 30 second shot clock, 37 seconds on the clock. Replay coming up, yeah, we gotta see this one for from a little while ago. The alley-oop up, yeah, that was a well-played uh, well played stuff there from yeah. Michael Jones. That's the one highlight we've gotten so far. That's the best highlight we've seen so far, yeah. I think, right? Well, I'd say it, that Mike Williams shot fake, just one step in. Pull up. That that probably that probably that probably was pretty nice too. By the way, tonight's replay system brought to you by Data Video, allowing us to test out some of their equipment. So mm. we appreciate the help from Data Video. Lots of cool stuff from those guys. We got that some is cool. PTZ kit. Wait until you see the tomorrow? angle that we have tomorrow. All right. We suspended Hoosier from the ceiling. No, we didn't. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> You did? Yeah. Chicago Prep handles the trap there, but can't handle the press right at the... Again, just make the hoop. right play. Yep. That, that wasn't the right play. Shot clock off, final seconds, first quarter. Coach, they didn't get two for one, and they did. Well, the press probably slowed it that down. Definitely, not, not gonna, definitely made a... Who's going to get it, though? Tyne's going to keep it, it looks like. Yeah. As Garcia keeping. comes up. Screen, roll, shot, bang. Selena knocks it down. Vilius Selena knocks down the three, and that is how we will end the first period of play. Bishop Walsh, 21, Chicago Prep, 9. We are going to take a quick break. A house divided against itself cannot stand. But a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S 4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Abe and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front-wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. Don't wait four score and seven years. Head to Tom Dinsdale CDJR today. the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. Welcome back to tonight's coverage of the Heartland Hoops Classic on Strive TV. Bishop Walsh with a great first quarter, 21-9 over Chicago Prep. And Mike, it's... Uh, 
we, 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 have, we get the idea that this might go like this the rest of the yeah. night. So what are you seeing, if you're, what are you trying to see if you're Bishop Walsh for the rest of the night? Well, one just, one just not get anyone hurt. Like, that's probably the biggest key in anything crazy happen, I guess. I mean, Mike Williams has six, leads the team in scoring right now. The, de the, the Bishop Wallace defensive pressure has been pretty good. He's going to move his feet a little bit, bit, bit better there, just stay in front of him. So. Selena with the foul. I mean, Chicago Prep out rebound him right now, ten to two, though. So that's something. No, ten to three now. Or three. Good pass up ahead. Can't quite get the spin down though, but boy, just to feed that thing through there. Cameron Fleming couldn't quite get the finish. On the other end, a twisting Forced shot. Forced. Little tough there from Caleb Spencer. And at the other end, the stuff down from Cameron Fleming. Cameron Fleming's a nice looking player. Probably needs to slow down a little bit. The shot before that was a little quick, I think. Right. And this pressure is just too much. It, it, is, it is kind of amazing to think that uh, even athletes of this skill level can still get sped up a little too much for their own good sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Manny Okotondo is really good. It's shown so far being a really good perimeter defender, at least being able to hedge a ball screen and come out and do what you got to do at the next level. That's, I mean, he's got just recently picked up a Rhode Island offer as a Rutgers offer. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a nice, I mean, he's got the length and size that you look for. Bishop Walsh hasn't had much trouble with this 2-3 uh, zone look from Chicago Prep. 18 on the shot clock. Finally, a turnover, though, forced. There's a little miscommunication there. Okitondo couldn't corral that pass. Now Ford gets to the other end, but before the shot, an extra step and a travel and a turnover against the Freeze. I mean, there were four for 15 in the first half, first quarter. They're getting, they're getting possessions. Right. He's not making shots. Right, they Definitely. actually had one more shot than Bishop Walsh did Definitely in that first quarter. Definitely turning it over quite a bit, though. Five in that first quarter. That three is blocked as Selena tried to get that one up. Shot clock still going at 18 now. Came to, he was not ready to shoot that. This is too late. The ball, he, one, he caught it not in his shooting pot. He wasn't sitting there ready to shoot it, though, either. Caught it in his on his hip, basically. Gosh, that's good athleticism right there. Missed the lane, Just did spin out, but taken back by Mike Williams. Kicks it out, the oh, three Tyne, coming oh. for Tyne. No, and the rebound for Michael Jones. Not really running anything here. It's just it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff, and that, that just isn't gonna get it done. Right. At least set a ball screen for him. That was a nice but move. If you, but if you're going to get it, might as well get it. the finish. Caleb Spencer with a basket there. Oh, man. Hey, keep moving the ball. There you go. First glance, and, you know, you can call me biased, whatever, but uh, Bellevue West will, will be just fine tomorrow, I think. Just my opinion. Scramble on if the floor. If this is the same energy and right. effort that right. you're going to see. And, you know, that's got to be something to think about, too, for Bishop Walsh. You're gonna, you come in here for, for two games, so you get plenty of travel. Not that these guys aren't used to yeah, travel. That's, that's, that's probably the least amount of issue. Right. But you got to play tonight. Score gets a little lopsided, a little quick. And I say lopsided. It's a 12-point right. game right now. But just the flow is not quite there for really. Feels like it. We played three minutes. Bishop Walsh, the score is uh, in this quarter is 2-2. Two to two. And we played three minutes. Yeah. So then one, you got to turn one. around. You get uh, you probably get a walk through tomorrow, but then at some point you got to get ready for that game. Uh, Bishop Walsh and Bell West is the uh, right. one of the evening games. It's a nice that shot. One's banked in there by Tristan Ford, a two point shot for Tristan. This one three one is kind of that's supposed to be a one three one. 
I guess. Hey, that was a good pass. See great. that little extra pass right there? Josiah Cannon, they made a great pass right there. Great one. Bosenge with it. And we've got a replay coming up brought to you by Data Video. Let's take a look at it. This was the finish in the flush from Cameron Fleming. That was right after he had missed that kind of twisting shot. So yeah. that's got that's good for an offensive mindset when you can go from twisting shot, man, nah, maybe that wasn't the greatest shot choice. And then you get a turn right around and go, yes, no more pain. Yeah. I can make that one. That's all right. You're not gonna make every shot. Sunrise Christian Academy and Real Salt Lake Academy coming up at they're the conclusion they're, of they're this one. In the building. They, they are, are here. Right. Yes. Sitting in the building. Real Salt Lake is a um, pretty young team. So JJ Manquit is their I think, best player, you could say. And oh my goodness. Jump ball. Great defense there. You talk about high five stuff from Mike Williams. Yeah, it's probably an ill advised shot, I would say. At that in that situation, P pretty ill advised shot. Sometimes in these situations where it feels like there's an overmatched opponent, the other team tries to just to do too much. Oh, he's gonna trap him right here. Oh, yeah. Spencer with his dribble, poke free from behind. Michael time, right? It's a great steal. Didn't give up on the play after he kind of slipped. It's a great play. Kennedy was like, ah, do you want it off the backboard? I was, I'll just finish it. <laughs> hey, had some fun with that one at the end. I think we'll probably get a few more dunks before the night is over. For the highlight reel? Particularly the, before the game's over. Well, that's a shot. That's Jones a baseline. That's why Mike we're here. Williams. Mike Williams with the throwdown. And a timeout taken by Chicago oh, Prep. It's, it's time for a so data video one. replay. We got to see this one again as Williams, the hesitate, the straight to the rim, and the finish. Yeah. Great job. When um, he caught it in that corner, I'm like, this is going to go baseline. This, you don't. And this is going to go fast. It, Full timeout. Fast. We could take a little quick break ourselves, and we could come back to the Heartland Hoops Classic right after this on Strive TV. Download the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. Welcome back to the Heartland Hoops Classic. Eric Algott and Mike Sauter with you. Mike, is uh, are you tweeting tonight while we do this? No, I'm not. You're just, I'm not. Are you selfie? What are you no, doing? I mean, someone just, whatever, responded to something. <laughs> Bishop Walsh leading Chicago Prep Academy 29 to 13, 3.36 to go here in the first half. Taking a look at the bench there for Chicago Prep. Coach Travell Amix getting this academy team to Nebraska on short notice. If you missed it in our opening, uh, Huntington Prep out of West Virginia had some uh, health issues, couldn't make the trip. And Chicago Prep was gracious in their time in getting here. Had to drive from Chicago. Health issues is one thing to call it. Yeah. I'll call it that. That's fair. Fair. And so Chicago Prep, a late fill-in. Finding themselves down 16 here with three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Ford with a nice shot to the rim. Won't fall, though. Rebound from G, who had the first five points, did G, but hasn't scored since the first quarter. Here come the Spartans. Tyne. So not, was it 3 2 now? Yeah. Oh, man. He well, you got to get better lost. guard Williams or something's going to. A little lost out there. That's a great pass. Williams can't get the finish, but over the top, I'll just reach over there and I'll, I'll take that, Manny. says Manny Okatondo. He's a nice player. He's a little, a little more of a wing. That helps. Jared G back in, trying to find some yep. Oh! Boy, we got. God. Yeah, that was a big bang. collision there. 
That's like his if, shoulder. If he has me, is the injured head freeze player. He got snapped pretty quick there. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a tough one. Man. In the shoulder, but his head kind of, his neck kind of whipped back a little bit. So that was concerning. Yeah. Mike, we've talked about our next game coming up, Wichita's Sunrise Christian Academy and Real Salt Lake, but we've got a seven oh, game slate coming up tomorrow. We're going to feature the first four games, all featuring uh, Nebraska high schools in matchups that you wouldn't normally see. Going to be a lot of fun to see. Uh, maybe the best game of the day just first might be one. the first one. Yeah. Freeman in Central City. Pace will be Pace should way be, different. Should be fun. Should be up and down. Lots of lots of great, great well, athletes. Central City but, wants it to be up and down. I don't know about Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> Freeman, Freeman is averaging 35 points a game, uh, giving up on defense. And if I'm not like Central City scoring like 35 a half. So it will be, uh, it will be interesting to see uh, who wins that pace battle coming up tomorrow in that first game. Yeah. Then you're going to get Platteview and Grand Island. Grand Island. Yeah, we're Platteview, see Connor we'll out here. see if we're going to see Connor Milliken okay. out here. He's got a little bit of a knee. Okay. Played last night on senior night at 26 and whatever his average is. Whatever his 26, average is. 26, 12, and 4 or something. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. There, that might be a – I think that's a pretty big question mark at this point. Then you're going to get Class C1 Wahoo taking on North Platte in Class A. So that's a two-class jump. By that. I am too. Wahoo has they've beaten what eight Class B teams this year? Nine, something, nine, something like that. After last night's win. And uh, man, just uh, they have just been so impressive there in the C1 ranks. Coach Chief, when he gets a group, man, he can really beat he Platte can, View twice. He can put them together. Yeah, beat Crete, beat Platte View. And it's then we funny. get a little break in the, or before the afternoon break. We're going to see GICC and Gordon Rushville, way up northwest part of the state. Yeah, very in interesting. Yeah, Getting the ball. They're going to want to push the pace too a little you gotta bit. Got to make I think. that pass to the middle. He's wide open. Along the baseline, Kennedy says no. Kennedy I got is a nice player. You can totally see the power conference offers with him. He's just smooth. This is one of those things that, like, if you're evaluating or seeing, you want to see just effortless energy and he has that yep um where it doesn't look like he's trying real hard but he's actually playing hard that's right. the difference akuda with the foul there for bishop walsh and it will send dave criddle to the free throw line for two shots Gonna get a three up. He's gonna get a three up. Check him back in. What do you think? Think he's Billius Salina? Yeah, Salina? yeah. Well, that I think that's pretty much what he does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a three. He's gonna get one coming up. He made a nice pass earlier. He did. Half. I also get Mike Williams back in the Spartan lineup as well. Ooh. That's Williams at the high post. It's turns right down Broadway. Mike Williams again. Yeah. That was, yep. Ralph Akuda just <laughs> set a screen without setting one. He was just right. too big. He just blocked everybody out. Well, when you're seven foot, you got a little extra top with the hair, and you got arms and wings like that. Garden on the, on the perimeter, too, a little bit. There's no offensive flow here. He's not running. He's just... There you go, Jared G. G nice. for three. A little long. Tyne on the far side. Selena slips in. Back out for Tyne for the three, and that's no problem. Plenty of room on that one for Mikkel Tyne. Not a lot of recruiting interest there, which is really interesting. Yeah. Height's got to be the only see. little hesitation because that's a player. That, that I could see. There wasn't a lot there. He'll find a home somewhere. Someone will get a real nice player. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing Mike Williams isn't going to pass this until maybe, you know, for a lob or something at the basket. 
Unless he turns it over or gets five okay. counts. Criddles trying to stop it. Oh, see, told you pass it. Back, oh, oh, my oh, gosh, right behind the back. back. Akuda at the buzzer at the far side, no good. He just about got that. That's what I said. <laughs> but boy, Bishop <laughs> Walsh and back. Mike Williams putting on a show here in the first half in Hastings. What a job. And this was the one right down Broadway from Jones. There with about a minute and a half before the end of the first half. It is all Bishop Walsh at the halftime break, 38-13. We will take a break with us here on Strive TV, and we'll come back for some halftime stats and look ahead to the second half and the rest of the game. Coming up on Strive. A house divided against itself cannot stand, but a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S 4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Abe and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. <laughs> the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. Become a new Strive school. Join a community of educators and students. Get access to support, resources, and education. Your fans watch for free, and there's even a new revenue opportunity for your school. Contact sales at strive.tv to sign up your school to become a Strive school. A house divided against itself cannot stand, but a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S 4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Abe and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. Don't wait four score and seven years. Head to Tom Dinsdale CDJR today.
back here in Hastings at Hastings College Lynn Farrell Arena as we are coming out of halftime from our first game of tonight. Bishop Walsh leading Chicago Prep Academy 38 to 13. Eric Hogan and Mike Sauter with you tonight on Strive TV. And Mike, uh, first half stats uh, that we've got up here. Uh, Josiah Kennedy, this kid nice is play. good. Nice player in the first He's half. He's good. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, but, nice player in the first half. Obviously, we, like I mentioned, has offers from Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, Kansas State, Mississippi State. Young player, but real smooth. Right. Real smooth, real nice. Just transferred in here, too. So, like, weeks ago. Right. The coach told me before the game, he's like, yeah, he's new and, you know, don't really know him that well. And, well. Well, you're going to get to know him. Yeah. Really, really well. Playing pretty he's well. He's got 12 points in the, at half. Uh, Manny Okatondo with six. Uh, Mike Williams, eight points, but he's got the highlight points right now. Yeah. Uh, five from Michael Tyne uh, and a couple of baskets from Bosinge and Fleming had a nice dunk. And Selena had yeah. A th had, had a basket, uh, had a three-pointer as Jared well. Jared G is Jared G Chicago is, Prep's it, best player right now. And he's got five, and he had those in the first couple of minutes. Tristan Ford has four, and then two apiece from Caleb Spencer and Michael Jones. Stat program says 10 turnovers in that first half for felt like a lot more than for 10. Chicago prep the uh, the on ball defense the yeah. what not even really the press uh, nah, that for Bishop Walls just just good defense Gotta make that shot rebound taken out of there by Kennedy to the backside and a foul drawn Matt Selman will be at the free throw line. Selman didn't score in that first half, had a rebound and a steal in his seven minutes. Steal was nice because he kicked it ahead. Yep. For two. Made one. One for two at the line isn't great, but I guess if you're up 30, now nine to 13, you're probably feeling all right. You're probably okay. Like we, we kind of talked confident. briefly in the kind of new, yeah. In that first half, if your Bishop Walsh nice is shot. a three splashed home there by Caleb Spencer. If you're Bishop Walsh, what are you trying to accomplish here in this second half? Don't get anybody Stay healthy, hurt. that's yeah. first and foremost. <laughs> Basically, don't get anyone hurt. Okitondo picks up the foul coming over the top there. And then uh, shower quick so you can watch Sunrise yeah, and Real Salt Lake. They'll definitely probably hang out. Well, I don't know. Sunrise and Bishop Walsh are in the NIBC together, um, which is the – hey, I thought he was going to go up and try and punch that. That would have been something. just a second, it looked like that, but Tyne does lay it in after Spencer lost the handle out there in the corner. Yeah, the NIBC is the National Interscholastic Basketball Conference. It's the, it's the premier, um, I guess, conference basketball or prep conference in, in the country. Uh, you have La Luminaire, uh, Sunrise, Bishop Walsh's first year in it this year, uh, Legacy Prep, IMG, Long Island Lutheran, Arizona Compass Prep is a newer school. Montverde is the number one team in the country. They're in this league. Bishop Walsh right now in the league is 0 and Here we 10. go. Here comes yeah, Mike Williams. So, oh, and there it goes back to half court. I thought G was going to try and jump with him, which would have been exciting, but also maybe got someone hurt. Garcia Giovanni. at the other end. Giovanni gets one to go. It's a three. There you go. For the freeze. They're, they're almost to the point total they made in the second quarter. So, there you go with that one shot. They only had four in the second quarter. That's what I mean. Tough sledding for the freeze there. Garcia will step back. The rebound for G with the left hand. That won't go. Williams pulls down the rebound, flips it up ahead to Kennedy, and good defense. If he wouldn't have taken an extra dribble or tried to score and just thrown that thing up, that would have been a dunk. But good hustle by Ford to get down there and knock it out. 
Selena checking in for Bishop Walsh. Inbound, nice. quick spin move for Okatondo. Quick, and a quick, easy. Effortless energy, right? That's what that's the yeah. uh, term you used earlier. Yeah, that was an effortless sure. spin. And we get a quick timeout taken here by Dan Preet. A quick data video replay powered by Shrive Audio Visual. We're going to see it backwards and forwards. The quick spin, the quick finish. It's all good. It's nice. Here at Doc Farrell Arena. Refs hadn't had to work too hard tonight. They never seemed to on the nights like the, last year. They're just hanging out. Right. Kind of run up and down. Sometimes these guys enjoy it just as much oh, as they the do. rest of us. They do. They do. I was talking to them before the game, and they're like, oh, man, this should be fun or whatever, you know. So uh, they were excited about it. Also talked a little bit about tomorrow's matchups and stuff. So Garcia bringing it up against Williams. 43-19 our score, 5.45 to go here in the third period. 30-second shot clock tonight. Well, a reminder on that. I know we don't have it on screen. Got a little issue with our uh, our scoreboard app, but uh, we haven't we'll called that up. We haven't really needed it. Got 10 <laughs> on the shot clock right now. Only heard the buzzer once, I think. Spencer lost He's it in the lane. Lost. Here comes Tyne with a three we'll on one. Throws it off the leg. Oh, Okitondo. Out. Fouled by G yeah, on the way Jerry out. Jerry G isn't having any of this dunk on nope. the team stuff. Nope, nope, nope. He's for sure not about that life. Kids say that. Do kids still say that? Not about that life? I'm not that young anymore, Mike. I don't know. I'm, sorry, I'm just asking. I don't Where's know. Bridger? Should we find somebody? Do, do, do kids still say that? I'm not about that life? Nope, nope. No, I'm just don't. looking at his face going, right, no, listen, no. Right. I didn't know. I just was. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, Something. if a D1 school kid isn't saying it, then, yeah, right. it's, it's out of the lexicon. Oh, wow. So you're saying small town. Yes. That's all right. Yeah, I got to remember my audience. I say D1 in yeah, Nebraska. I was like, and, what are you talking about? And, and that's not what everybody watching this it probably It took me a thinking. second to catch that. Yep. I was, probably could have got away with a foul right there. Probably got away with one. I think they're probably just going to let the clock run as much as they can at this point. Bishop Walsh will match up with Bellevue West I'm in tomorrow. Man. That Oof. is going to be a lot of fun. Watching that, you know, watching Bishop Walsh for the first time, Bellevue West will not be over. It's a pretty even matchup, I think. Um, we'll see, but um, I, I think it's, it's fairly even. Both have at least one high major player, right? Right. So. And what I know, having been at this event the last couple years, as we get a nice – people. A nice finish there by Michael Jones is that people the, will start the audience, for Bellevue West. The audience yes. is in arena is definitely going to be a pro Bell West. Yeah. I think they I think maybe. I mean I think well, I hope so. I just I remember a couple years ago with, with Chucky Hepburn well, that's, at Bell that's West, different. Hunter yeah. Tallis, like like that was a good crowd and it was like yeah. those guys could fun. do no wrong in the eyes of the they audience win, that though. night. They didn't. They played well. Chucky played well. Yeah, they, they both those games were close. Chucky's hey. still playing well up there in Wisconsin. Yeah. Okitondo with an I up and like under. Him. I'm going to have to figure some stuff out. A little step back. Nice fadeaway there from Tristan Ford. But the freeze doubled up. Three and a half minutes to go here in the third. Mike Williams flash, nice flash, good extra. That's going up for sure. Yeah, he's there, just flamethrower from yep. the outside. That was easy to tell after the first catch he made. Hey, Jared G, G. nice player again. Long. His body language is probably the best of any of one on his team right now. So yep. that's good. Billy Salino with the foul. Going to take another look at this one on the replay, data video replay powered by Strive AV. 
as G puts the first free throw and the rim unkind. They had bounced about Garrett five Hastings. times on that thing. Fleming and and Solo, Solo Mustafa Reed. There's a <laughs> Solo Mustafa Reed. Yes. This is the first time in the game, I think, right? Played just a couple of minutes, I think, in the second quarter. That's been it, That's though. Right. Yeah. G puts down the second free throw. Six points for Jared. A 22-point Spartan lead for Bishop Walsh. Pretty much cruise control tonight. Gosh, that's a nice play. Kennedy had that one maybe partially deflected on the way up. It's Forward into up. the corner that's for Garcia. Going up from three for him. Nice rebound. Big rebound up top and the finish there from Michael Jones. Jones has a nice frame and good body in that. Gets Stop. off the floor quick. Yeah. That was like a slowdown. Chicago Prep is not given up, if you will. No. Yet. Kennedy. Back to Williams. Four on the shot clock. Williams spots the three, splashes it home. That's tough. Not much you're doing with that. Nope. That's Called for the screen, got the screen, spotted up. Every time. Spencer for the answer, no Spencer's good. Spencer's got the green light out here. He does. He does not. He doesn't. He's never seen a shot he didn't like, I'll tell you that. Oh, that's Selena bad. got stuck in the lane, didn't have anywhere to go. Garcia lays it in. Freeze coach Travell Amix still encouraging his guys like, hey, just keep playing. What else are you going to do? Williams, strong on that three. Spencer snatches the rebound. Oh, one on one. Stuff. Yeah, that was a good foul. Uh, not a good foul. I mean, it's a good call. It's definitely a foul. Bosenj and Tyne back into the game for Bishop Walsh. He's, a, he's definitely shooting. Yep. Gosh, so is he. Like, pass the ball at some point. <laughs> yeah. Four just shy. Fleming. Got it. A little hesitation. But he got it to go. Fleming snatches that rebound. Tyne has it now. Pushes ahead, nice great pass. feed underneath, and the layup good for Bosingi. Lost it. Oh. Kennedy back in. Eighteen on the shot clock, so Bishop Walsh will definitely get a another possession here. Yep. It's just too much standing around from Chicago Prep. They're just yep. There's no offense. No one's moving. Look right now, just standing watching the ball. I, I, and with not, one on yeah, the shot clock, that I don't go well. think that would have yeah. counted anyway. So and that's a shot clock yep. violation. Michael Tyne wasn't letting him score. Nope. That'll be interesting to see what they do tomorrow. Just watching Bellevue West, who, if time takes Josiah Dotzler or what that looks like. Can we request that as fans? That would be good. I mean, that would be that's intriguing for sure. Nice shot. Time gets the three, can't get it to go. Yep, Fleming no. will not get the shot up before the end of the period. It is all Spartans right now. 53-28 as we head to the fourth and final quarter here from the game one of the Heartland Hoops Classic here on Friday night. Stick with us. We'll be back on Strive. A 
house divided against itself cannot stand. But a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S 4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Abe and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front-wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. Don't wait four score and seven years. Head to Tom Dinsdale CDJR today. Thanks for joining us tonight on Strive TV's coverage of the Heartland Hoops Classic. We've got the second half of the doubleheader coming up after this one. Sunrise Christian Academy out of Wichita, Kansas, taking on Real Salt Lake Academy. That'll be our nightcap tonight. Those two teams and these two teams in action again tomorrow night as we may take part of a big day. Seven total games tomorrow coming to you from the Heartland Event Center in Grand Island. That's a cool venue. It's a fun venue out there. Hosted state volleyball for a couple years. Uh, actually, uh, there in the uh, early 2000s, Mike. I never got to see state volleyball out there, but from what I what I heard from, from people in Grand Island, they loved hosting it. A little disappointed that things had to move back to Lincoln. Well, PBA and Devaney are kind of fun too, yeah. though. But uh, a fun, fun arena and something that a lot of the uh, Nebraska schools that will be in this event tomorrow, they don't usually get a play in a place like that unless you make it to the state championship game, something like that. Kind of playing out the string right now. All right. Mustafa Reed with a foul. He's a six-seven senior. Shot from lane like, won't go. It's good effort. For nice Jones nice and his Jones second effort right. will. This is like his fifth effort. <laughs> you call it second. It was like second, got third, like fourth. Three offensive rebounds right there. His own. I'm trying to find everybody on my sheet here. <laughs> Williams with a foul. And Jones with an opportunity for and one. And the defensive rebound. For Bosengi. Michael Tyne. Tyne. Lob. One to the lob to Fleming. Does corral it. Kicks it out for Kennedy along the baseline. A little pressure in the backcourt. And the pull up shot from Ford. No good. Offensive rebound out to Garcia for and three. He's shooting the three every time he gets it. That's Which the, is fine from three. Right. Like for him, that's a great shot. Nothing wrong with that offense. Jones nice kick to kicks the it out. That is tying for a three and a nice a answer. Great kick to the corner. Credit Bosengi for Being kicking aware, it out to the corner. Some basketball yep. IQ stuff right there. Jones, nice finish Might have again. Got away with the travel, maybe. Eh, maybe. Obviously, it wasn't a travel. That would have been called travel if it was. Yeah, I mean, right? sure. I'm not, not going to fight that. Get back to the – these teams probably just get back to the hotel and, yeah, get some food probably. Get back to the hotel, hang out. Skip. Oh. Kennedy goes baseline. Spencer ends up with a loose ball. Could have kept going baseline there, I thought, but. Ford oh, man. has it stripped by Williams. Slow down. Williams hangs the tip from Fleming, no good. 
And Criddle with the defensive rebound. And yeah, then with the pressure, no foul called. He traveled, picked up that plant foot. Getting a little clunky here on the end. We're, I think everyone knows the outcome at this point, and it's getting a little choppy. Hopefully the next one will be a little more competitive. So I thought he was going to shoot that. So he's not ready to catch it. He should. Williams. Nice Good wraparound pass. pass and the nice finish there. He can really pass the ball really, really well. I think next level LSU sees him probably more as a combo guy. Just can play the one or two. Good passer. Nice keep your dribble there. I need to kick that out. Yep. Ford with Garcia ahead. Garcia oh. has it swatted back. Hard off the glass. What? There's the athleticism Mike from Mike Williams. Banging that. Saw it coming the whole way. Too. We'll see if we can see that again on the data video replay. Powered by Strive AV. Yeah, that was going to be off the glass and, uh, yeah. and and a dunk attempt. And Williams said, nope, we're slapping that thing all the way back to half court. Checking in for Bishop Walsh, number 10, Emmanuel Okotondo. Freeze on the inbounds now. Ford mm. will fade away on the baseline. And then Williams fouled by G. Coming up. Getting a little chippy. Yeah, probably need to not worry about getting anyone hurt yep. or making some dumb at this point. 454 left in the game. Just I feel like everyone in the gym, including us, just are ready for this one to be over. Yeah. <laughs> you're Maybe. agreeing? Maybe. I think you're agreeing. That smile on you your know, face. You know, I, I saw I saw a I saw a great and I haven't listened to the whole thing, but I saw a great little summary of an interview with Mike Breen, who's absolutely one of the best play by play guys yes. of, of any sport in any profession. But uh, and they, they asked him how how, Mike, do you handle uh, the play-by-play -play call of a game which is very clearly in doubt, or Michael not in Jones doubt? Jones with a three, it's nice. And, and Breen's response was, I got to call the game for the game because the only people watching and listening at that point are the people still invested in the players. Yeah, that's true. Still truly invested in the game. Your average fan, they're, they're gone, right? That's a right? good point. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I thought that was really kind of brilliant and kind of – Help me reshape a few things. Right. Kind of goes back. We, at Strife TV, we do a ton of education with high schools across the Midwest on uh, producing live streams. I have a background in broadcasting, so I kind of take the reins on on uh, teaching kids how to do play-by-play -play and some of the things to say and hopefully not to say. And uh, one of the things I've always tried to tell kids is somebody's grandma is always watching, always sure. listening. And if grandma wouldn't want you to say it you shouldn't say it mike williams if your grandma no, no. is watching yeah, mike williams is a really well. good player yeah <laughs> he's doing he's doing all right that's a good finish there from tristan ford tristan the, ford's had a nice little second half here right this pace has picked up shots. a little bit too I mean, it's a 16 point game with 333 39 left okay 19. now it's 19 again <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, you, you really do get the feeling that Bishop Walsh, like, if they wanted to put the foot on the gas, yeah, it could be a lot more feels pretty like quick. Slowed down a little bit. But too. it's good to see Chicago Prep get the there feet under them a little bit, hit a couple threes, couple three point plays. Justin Ford's not a bad player. Right. Good hustle. Yeah. Garcia's hit a couple threes here in this fourth quarter now. He, uh, he, like I said earlier, Giovanni Garcia is probably making. I'm just going to guess that he's going to make, I don't know, Okitondo, 40% nice. of his threes. Nice, nice seal on the back side there and a good wraparound pass from Williams. The lead 18 right now. Garcia. One. Yeah, why not? Feeling it right now. It's only 15. I say only. It's 243 left. <laughs> 
shot clock, though, keeping people – well, keep teams – that's one thing that, you know, in Nebraska we just got a shot clock this year. That's one thing that we've noticed. Oh, man. Gosh, he's a nice player. Man, he's good. Mikkel Tyne with the three-pointer there. 30-second timeout. We could step aside as well. We'll come right back to Hastings and the Heartland Hoops Classic after this. A house divided against itself cannot stand, but a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S 4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Dave and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. Don't wait four score and seven years. Head to Tom Dinsdale CDJR today. Mike Sauter back with you at the Heartland Hoops Classic. We're at Hastings College here on a Friday night. First of two games for tonight. First time we've had two games on Friday, Friday night. Yep. And uh, we get the uh, the main event with seven games coming up tomorrow at the Heartland Event Center at the State Fairgrounds here in Grand Island. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, they're definitely – Bishop Walsh definitely guarding a little tougher out of this timeout in this possession. Yep. And Kennedy is just following Garcia around. Right. G can't get that one to go, but he'll get a couple of free throws for the effort. Yeah, Garcia's hit four, four threes yeah. here in the fourth quarter alone. Definitely got their attention after that timeout. One for two there for G. 17-point game with two minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Kind of that 2-1-2. Two, two. Mike, Mike Williams might have just probably put it up and said time, to, time for this game to be over. Not go home because no one's going to go home. Well, no. Oh, nice rebound. Ford snatches that rebound, can't get the follow. Catondo then pulls down the board for the Spartans. That's going up. Selena, no. Got his own rebound, though. And then gets stuffed at the rim. G, G's a good player. He is. Quick off the floor, man, I'm telling you. Oh. Down the lane. Oh, good stuff, but a foul on Selena. I could have been a poster the fun. other way, though, too. That would have been fun. <laughs> Fourth personal foul on Vilius Salina. And two free throws coming for Michael Jones. That, that would have definitely been exciting. Hmm. Sunrise Christian Academy. Taking on Real Salt Lake. Waiting in the hall over there. Just like a regular Friday night. Right, yeah. Mike? We got a doubleheader. Girls game. Yeah. Second free throw good by Jones. Ralph Akuda into the game for Bishop Walsh. Minute 15 to go in this one. 18 point Spartan lead. Kennedy splits down, kicks out the three, though. Pulled down on the rebound by G. Flips it back to four. That's a long two. Tyne up ahead for Kennedy. He wants the lob. He wants Mike Williams. 
in the final 40 seconds of this one. Criddle on the far side. Salino snatches the rebound. And now Okutando, or uh, Akuda, excuse me, Akuda, Akuda. Yeah. Akuda throws that one down. 74-52, the final 20 seconds of this one. And a step back three from Michael Jones. Jones has hung in there, played well. But this one's going to be a 20-point margin when we're all said and done. Well played from the start by Bishop Walsh. But it's a 74-54 win for the Spartans of Bishop Walsh over the freeze of Chicago Prep. Real Salt Lake and... Sunrise Christian Academy coming up here for you very soon. Mike's going to head down to the floor, get a word with our player of the game. Josiah Kennedy will be back with that here in just a moment. Take a quick look at the data video replay powered by Strive AV. This was coming off the rebound, the outlet. Kennedy finding Williams, put that one on the poster, frame that one for tomorrow night. Well done, the data video replay powered by Strive AV. We are gonna go down to the floor with Mike Sauter here momentarily. He has got our player of the game, Josiah Kennedy. All right, Josiah, congrats on a, a nice game, a fishing game, right? Um, opponent switch, change, anything have to do with that? Were you guys just playing your game? Um, we just wanted a big win today. You know, we've been um, having an up and down season. We just wanted to um, execute plays, just get out of here with a W. Yeah. Uh, what does this help you kind of prepare for tomorrow, a team that – you know, Bellevue West from Nebraska here that we, I guess, all know locally and have some really good guards. So what's next for you guys tonight? Get some food, showered up, yeah. go hang out, watch film, or just, you know, be kids? Um, <laughs> we watch a film. We're yeah. trying to beat them. Um, they're a good team, ranked team. Um, we've been playing some good teams this year. We just need that one against right. Bellevue West. Congrats. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Down there on the floor. Mike Sauter, by the way, heard at sports. You can check. Stay tuned. We got about 30 minutes on a warm up clock. We'll be back with Real Salt Lake and Sunrise Christian Academy. You're watching the Heartland Hoops Classic on Strive TV. A house divided against itself cannot stand. But a new Jeep can stand up to anything. During the President's Day sales event at Tom Dinsdale CDJR, lease a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Sport S4x4 for just $4.90 a month for 48 months. Or trust Honest Abe and buy a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude front wheel drive for just $4.69 a month with no money down. Don't wait four score and seven years. Head to Tom Dinsdale CDJR today.